Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life and welcome to vlog number two of our Disney World Resort vacation. Uh, we are here at the Bora Bora Bungalows. We woke up a few hours ago. Sherry, how did you sleep last night? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. I slept pretty good as well. Today is actually a really exciting day because we're gonna get out, we're gonna see some of the Disney World resorts and I could not be more excited. just now heading out of the bungalow area, we are gonna actually get a lift to take us over to the Riviera Resort. Because there's a lot of construction going on um, here at the Polynesian, and obviously because of some COVID shutdown stuff and different schedules, we haven't been taking Disney transportation much. We've actually been doing lift. My goodness, look at how festive all the girls look today. They all have ears on. Auburn has on a Christmas sweater. We just got out of our lifts, got here at the Riviera Resort. We just walked into the Riviera, and this is the kind of the lobby, the entryway. Love this light up here. Um, it does feel kind of like a normal hotel lobby though. Like this isn't nearly as grand as maybe what I expected. A couple food options here around the lobby. There's La Petite Cafe. There's a boutique over here. Here's the Riviera Christmas tree. Um, probably an eight foot tree, I would say. It's pretty, but it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely not like the other resorts we have seen as far as like just grand scale. One of the things I have noticed at all the different resorts we've gone to is they have a poster here in the lobby that's basically for the recreation offerings, things that are happening that day that you could do. So you can see there's pool hours, there's movies under the stars, that kind of stuff. So this is helpful to know the kind of things that you can do here at the resort. Now we're heading to the other side of the Riviera because there is something that Auburn wanted Sherry to see here. There's kind of like one thing that we stopped here to see and I think we're going over there to see it now. Oh, we're just starting to see it come into frame here. Oh my goodness. There are mosaics here. A tangled. Look at how cool that is. Oh my gosh. Sherry Beth, what do you think about this? It's so pretty. You love it? Just so you know, we cannot do this in our house. Yes, and then on this side, there's a Peter Pan mosaic. You can see that side, again, goes all the way up and over. You can see Peter, Wendy up there. Look how awesome this is. And the detail on these, this is really impressive. Like that's an amazing, amazing mosaic. And the next thing we're gonna do is actually get on the Skyliner and head to the Boardwalk Resort. This is our first time using the Skyliner as transportation here at Disney World. I'm pretty excited, Sherry, <laughs> less excited. Also, you know it's gonna be a good day when Auburn has on her neon yellow Crocs. I did like the little... People watching at Disney is one of the best things and this little girl is having absolute time of her life. So there is quite a line here for the Skyliner right now, but we are in the uh, Skyliner line to Epcot, and apparently Epcot just opened, so that kind of explains the line. Don't know if it's normally like this or not. Auburn said that this seemed like a long line. You can see the Skyliner line actually still goes all the way down there and then back that way, but you guys, we are almost there. Here on the ground waiting for the Skyliner, you can see that they have the physical distancing lines for each group. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Riviera Resort. You can see In Spaceship Burbank, Earth California, over there, the and Auburn just pointed out that that's the new Guardians the of the Galaxy today. ride, the giant, honestly hideous building. Sherry Beth, mm -hmm. how are you doing? I'm great. You, are you loving the heights? Sure not. We are now arriving at Epcot. This concludes your journey aboard the Disney Skyliner. Thank you for flying with us. So there's the Skyliner station we got off. Basically drops you off here at the back entrance of Epcot. You can see France right over here, but we are not going to Epcot today. We are heading this way. So we are here on the boardwalk we just got here and just kind of show you guys looking around here. It's really pretty. Uh, you can see this is the boardwalk. That's Swan and Dolphin Yacht Club Beach Club. I'm a Disney Resort novice, but I'm pretty sure that is right. And now we are pretty hungry. So I think Auburn said we're gonna get some sandwiches here. 
at the Boardwalk Bakery. So you can see their menu here. They have some breakfast sandwiches, they have some lunch and dinner sandwiches, the grilled cheese, the big and beefy, I think is what I'm gonna get. That looks really good. And then over here you can see they have lots of croissants, almond croissants, glazed donuts, mixed berry scones, lots of goodies. Look at the Mickey Mouse brownie, love that. Look at the gingerbread cookies with the little Mickey ears on them, you guys, stop. Look at all of this, the ginormous, oh my God. They also had a gingerbread martini, so we all had to get that because how could we not look at how great that looks? Lunch has been served. Both Sharon and I got the exact same thing. It's called the beef and, oh, yeah, right. big and beefy. Big and beefy. The big and beefy. Um, yeah, like a roast beef sandwich. Mustard on there. This looks so good on like a focaccia bread. The sandwich is really good. Auburn and I were saying we think it'd be better if it was heated up. The meat on there is a little too tough to bite through because it's still cold, but still really good sandwich. More importantly, the gingerbread martini is delicious. Also, this guy's just like in a little boozy hot tub. So Auburn and I were just down here looking at stuff in the water and this thing started to float to the top and I hope you guys can see it. It's a turtle right there. I spy a big turtle. Here we are at the boardwalk and we are going to look at their Christmas tree. That's one of the things we're trying to do at all the resorts. I wanna see like all of the resort Christmas trees. Now it is a little bit loud here. You can see they're actually power washing the outside of the rooms, which is a good thing. Maintenance and upkeep. Always a plus in my book, but here is the tree. Well, there's Auburn vlogging, but here is the tree. It is awfully pretty, I'll say that. So it looks like normally they would have different like boardwalk style games, like carnival games. You can see there's the boardwalk hoop toss right here, closed down. Most of these little pavilions are all closed up right now, but I think normally there would be stuff here. But look at this, you guys. There's just like almost nobody anywhere this is kind of crazy we're just walking on the boardwalk here and i looked over and i was like oh there's kind of a cool shot of spaceship earth right back over there that's pretty fun we've left the boardwalk we are walking over to yacht club crossing over this bridge right now looks like we are coming up to probably the main lobby of yacht club oh look how pretty this is so this is actually one of the prettier lobbies and oh my gosh look at this huge globe over here i am in love with that and then look at the christmas decorations the swags the wreaths all the way around the inside of the lobby and then this awesome awesome christmas tree i love how each of the trees is themed to the different resort that it's at super cool this might be for kids, but I just found my favorite parts here. So there's like a captain's wheel and you can like step in here. I think this is awesome. And look, it just kind of overlooks the entire lobby. So we're gonna grab a quick drink at Hurricane Hannah's, which is like the pool bar here at Yacht Club. And then I think we're gonna grab a table out here. It's a pretty nice day. It was cold this morning, but the sun is out, the wind has stopped and it's warming up. So nice afternoon just to sit with a drink and enjoy the weather. I got a pina colava. Um, I actually had never had one of these before. One of our cruises, our friends Austin and Jess had messaged us and Austin loves these even more than a Dole Whip. And you guys know how much I love a Dole Whip. Austin was like, I think you will like a pina colava even more. Uh, I do love these. This is, think of like coconut raspberry drink. It is delicious. I still am more of a fan of the Dole Whip. However, these are pretty good. And Sherry Beth, what did you get? I got a category five. What what is in it? Do you know? A lot of rum. Okay. Walk down here to the beach at Yacht Club. It's the first time we've had our toes in the sand on this Florida vacation. Sherry Beth, how was your drink? So good. Yeah? We're putting our masks back on because it is time to head on to the next item on our schedule. Walking over here to Beach Club and they have this, it's actually a water slide. You can see the tube that goes across like the walkway here. Look how pretty this is though. So I had to step away to use the facilities, the little boys room if you will. Sherry Beth, I missed something really cool. You did. What one happened? Of, one of our viewers stopped by and said hi. And it was? Stacy. Stacy, uh, Sherry said I guess you're celebrating a birthday here or your birthday was a while ago, but you're celebrating. Stacy's birthday was in October, and she's celebrating it now. So Stacy, happy birthday. Yeah. So here at Beach Club, they have Beaches and Cream, which is like their popular ice cream bar. And this is like the walk-up window. So the main Beaches and Cream is actually down here. You have to have reservations to get into there. As you can see, pretty busy, super popular place. But if you can't get in there, 
You can get most of the items over here at the to-go window. The only thing you can't get is like the giant, they have like a giant bowl of ice cream, and you'd think that the $23 Mickey sink is the big one. It's actually not, they have one bigger than that, but you can only get that one down here in the main restaurant. But if you're just looking to grab some ice cream, try some stuff here from Beaches and Cream, but you don't have a reservation, you can't get in, you still can do the walk-up to-go window right here. Also, I just noticed that they do have more than ice cream here. They actually have beer, hard soda, cider, different shakes and stuff as well. Now we are in the beach club. We are actually walking into the lobby right now. We want to check and see what their lobby decorations are like. And one thing that we can tell already is that the smell in here is spectacular. We've actually really enjoyed that, that each of the resorts kind of has a distinctive smell. And I think the best way, Sherry, you just described this place is like suntan lotion and sand. It smells just like the beach. And here is their Christmas tree. The lobby here has a very similar feel, at least in layout to Yacht Club that we were just out next door. You can see the swags, very similar to what we saw over there, except these obviously have more of a beach theme where the other place had more of like a nautical and ship theme. Furniture in here is beautiful. Look how cool these high back chairs are they have along the back wall here. Sherry Beth just saw something she wants to show me on here. Oh, it is. Look at the captain's wheel in there. Okay, that's really cool. Just leaving Beach Club, and look how beautiful this kind of setting is. You can see all of the lampposts wrapped with garlands. Big, beautiful building back there, the river below us. We're actually here at Disney Springs to get some food. It's dinner time. We're going here to Paddlefish. Now, Sherry and I actually came to Paddlefish a long time ago when it was Fulton's Crab House, if you guys remember that. We've never been to Paddlefish, but let's go in for dinner. They're seating us in the very back of the boat. You can actually see the paddle wheel out there. That's pretty fun. Just head down here at Paddlefish. Look at the menu. You can see the starters look amazing. They have a wedge salad. I'm a big fan of those. Crab and lobster. But then I also really like they have not just seafood. They also have a nice from the land section. So I feel like pretty much anybody could find something that they liked here on the menu. Also, there's an ahi poke bowl. Very delicious. Drinks have arrived, appetizers have arrived. We've got crab cakes, we've got calamari, we've got lobster, corn dogs, what? Lots of good drinks. I want the maker's flight. Pretty excited about this. Dinner's been served. Uh, Auburn was just mocking me for getting a wedge salad. But you guys, <laughs> look how good it looks. All those blue cheese crumbles. Oh, I'm so excited about this. We got crab cake BLTs. Sarah got the poke, delicious. Sherry, what'd you get? The same, you got the crab cake BLT. Emma went with the catfish sandwich. That looks super good. Just leaving Paddlefish. Uh, now you guys know Sherry and I are not like Disney Springs experts or pros. We've been to a few restaurants here, not a ton of them. So I don't know what like the buzz or the vibe is about Paddlefish. You guys, we had one of the best experiences there. The service was great, the food was great. Everything about it was just so, so good. We would absolutely go back there. We'd recommend that place. Our server was Frank. One of the best servers I have ever had at a restaurant. So, Paddlefish at Disney Springs, uh, again, I don't know what others' experience has been like for us, amazing. Sherry Beth, how was dinner? So good. Yeah, you had fun? Yeah. Now we are heading out of Disney Springs. And you can see even here at night, not too busy. There's not a ton of people. There's lots of space around us. The trees are sparkling. What's not to love? We are back at the bungalow. Dinner at Disney Springs was amazing. Left at Disney Springs, had one stop to make. Just got back here, you guys. Look at the castle. That, how is this real? How is this an experience that we are getting to have? This is crazy. That's the castle. Like Space Mountain, right there. What? Today has been such a cool day. You know, the resorts around the Disney property are something that Sherry and I have just never experienced. When we come to Disney, and we've talked a lot about this, when we come to Disney, we've always like rented Airbnbs or stayed at hotels off-site. We've never stayed at a Walt Disney World Resort. We have stayed at Alani in Hawaii. We've obviously done a number of Disney cruises, but the whole resort experience is totally, totally new to us. So to get to go to so many resorts, to get to walk around, to get to see them, kind of see the Christmas decorations, decorations, walk through, drink at some of the lounges. You guys can hear there is a boat leaving right now, taking people over right there. But it was just so cool to get to go to the resorts and actually get to experience that uh, for ourselves. Sherry just came out here. Sherry Beth, come here, because I want to ask you, um, how did today go? It was a lot of fun. 
Um, thoughts on the resorts? So pretty. So stinking pretty. So pretty. We're going to do a wrap up video mm -hmm. at the end of this trip, uh, talking about our experience with Auburn's inside waving. <laughs> Just like inside waving at us. <laughs> I just could not laugh. I was gonna try. To, <laughs> I was gonna try to not like ignore her. I just couldn't. Um, but we're gonna do a wrap up. I follow you guys on YouTube. Oh my what? gosh. Uh, we are gonna try to do at the end of this a wrap up on our thoughts about the resorts because Auburn, who just came outside, Auburn, get over here. You have to be in this with us. No, oh, no, me. get no, <laughs> get in here. All of you. We were just talking about our first experience like with the resorts. You've told us, you were the first person who told us that we should do a resort vacation where we don't do the parks. Okay, well here's the thing. You guys do the, the parks really hard. Totally. So at the end of your park trip, you guys are exhausted. Exhausted. Mm -hmm. And you need a vacation. Yes. You're right, so tired. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. this is really laid back. You still get the hit of Disney. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's not so like punch in the gut Disney, yep. but it's still Disney right. and you don't feel so tired. Totally. Right. I, we were just saying that how much we loved going around and seeing the resorts, how beautiful they are, yeah. and how everyone is different in in every way, like different in smell, yes. different in layout, different in mm. decor, like everything is different. Mm -hmm. And that's been one of the most fun things to see. We have a lot more resorts that we're still going to see this trip. Yep. Yes. We're not even nearly done. No. And then <laughs> and we won't be able to get to them all this trip. Wait, what? Because some of them are come back. still closed. That is true. Which is sad. Yep. But yeah, and we're gonna run out of time. It means we have to come so back. So it means you have to come back. I guess we have to come back to Orlando. Friends, that is where we're gonna end this vlog. Uh, vlog number two of our Polynesian bungalow experience. Sherry, look, that's the castle. Like, it's right there. You guys, this is so insane. <laughs> uh, that's gonna end vlog number two of our Disney World Resort experience. You guys are gonna see uh, more of us on the next vlog. We're so mm -hmm. excited to keep bringing you guys around Walt Disney World, keep showing you guys all of our experiences. You guys know we love you so much. Thanks for being part of our community, and we'll see you on the next Lug Life video.